Hey everybody, welcome back. James here again with you. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I truly appreciate it for all the ones that have subscribed already. And hit the notification bell to make sure you get the video when it's uploaded, the notification. Alright, so I'm going to get into today's video guys and let you know that I did, in fact, get a new uh, air rifle. Now, uh, I've been asked by many, many people throughout the years, um, when am I going to get my next one, you know, what am I going to get, and all this and that. And hopefully, uh, I'll let you on in some insight as to why I chose this one. Now, I've had this for only about a week. It came in about uh, last Saturday. Um, and I've been playing with it and messing with it and seeing about everything I could find out real quick about it to make a, a video on it. So I want to show the initial accuracy after I got the scope bore sighted in, guys. And if you know me, you know I have calculations and everything about air guns. And I figure out, you know, things about them. And so I figured out that the 1589 grain JSB pellet, and it's the only pellet that I've ever ran through this gun at 25 yards once I got the scope that I mounted on there bore sighted and zeroed you can see there 25 yards there's five shot group right there and that is a six millimeter group guys outside outside that is insane and uh, to let you guys know you know this in my opinion and I've been hearing a lot about these guns over the years is one of the best mid-level PCP air guns there is pre-charged pneumatic now there is other brands out there but this one right here uh, is probably really is really popular just like the other ones so let me go ahead and show you what it is guys so here it is sitting in the bog pod I have actually been eyeballing this for a long while believe it or not this is the crawl puncher mp03 and I topped it off with a Crossman Center Point Spectrum First Focal Plane Scope. They had these on sale on their website directly from Crossman. Uh, it was $90 plus tax and shipping, and normally they run about $200. This is the 4 to 12 by 44 model First Focal Plane. And I have it, uh, the MP03 Crawl Puncher Breaker. I got it on sale also. I was eyeballing it for the past six months, debating whether or not I wanted to actually get one. You know, seeing if there's a true difference in a mid-level PCP versus a budget-friendly PCPs like I've always had. And out of the box, guys, like I said, I've already found the right pellet, the only pellet I've ever shot through it. And I'll show you later in the video what I'm talking about. 50 yards and 100 yards is insane out of this rifle. I went ahead and did initial chronograph testing at point blank, or muzzle, I should say. And at 50 yards to get a ballistic coefficient and this gun is unregulated and it's insane what how reg or how good it is with the valve system in this gun uh, it's got a power adjustment for the hammer spring here and then a power adjustment for the transfer port on the other side there's a adjustment on this side and as you can see, magazine fed, I got this gun because this is my new hunting air rifle. And it's got a 12 round 22 caliber magazine. This is 22 cal. And it comes with a single shot tray. But not only that, for what I got it for, again, I got it on sale from Pyramid Air for $299. Normally they run $399. It comes with two magazines and a single shot tray. Now... The only thing that I have to complain about this rifle, you know, being a mid-level PCP like it is, is uh, the fill probe. I'm not a big fan of fill probes, and one reason is, on this gun in particular, they did not add a quick disconnect fitting, so I had to buy that extra on top of all this. So that really got me, uh, you know, a little upset over that, as much as this gun cost, and I had to buy an extra fitting to even fill it up. Now, don't get me wrong, I made it work with my hand pump without the fitting until I got the fitting in because, and that's the other reason I got this compared to any other, you know, air rifle out there is because of the fill. This air rifle or carbine has a 180cc air tank reservoir here. 
at 2900 PSI, which for a hand pumper like myself, who's been doing it for the past three to four years now, uh, is nothing to pump up, really. I mean, it's fun to shoot. I could run, you know, a couple mags through it without even having to worry about pumping it up because the velocity is there, guys. I'm not kidding. There is no, like, real super draw fall off on the air tank reservoir here. Whatever valve system they have in this gun is perfect, non-regulated. Uh, you can see on this setup in the bog pod here, it's perfect for that. But on this gun, the rifle itself has the thread adapter so I can actually add a separate baffling system and that's the other thing it didn't really disappoint me I knew what I was getting into but you can buy an extra sound suppression if you have to to make it super quiet where I live at no big deal so if I really want to add one on the end of it I can but again it's not that big of an issue for me right now the other thing uh, Again, for as much as this rifle cost, I feel like the trigger system could have been a little bit better. Mine came in super heavy, even though it's supposedly a dual stage trigger. Um, so, I did adjust it per the manual of the gun itself. Um, but other than that, it's really not that light compared to other air rifles that I've tinkered with. And... Uh, other than that, though, it's, it's an awesome gun. And I can't believe it for... The price point, I mean, besides all those little things that are, doesn't really have anything to do with how it, the barrel shoots and all that, I can get, get be fine with that for $299. I'm fine with that. Again, getting it on sale for $299 plus shipping tax. The actual charging mechanism here is butter smooth. I'll go ahead and show you how loud it is. It's unloaded, by the way. So yeah, it's got some pop to it, but the cocking mechanism and everything is super smooth. Side lever. It's a nice little setup. Uh, you know, the grip here, it's more like it is what it is. Uh, there's no real adjustment out of it. I have a bigger hand, so mine's kind of like coupling underneath the grip. It's got an adjustable stock, which I thought was pretty cool. Adjustable cheek riser. So guys, uh, enough really yapping about the gun. I do want to show it off and show you what it's capable of. I do have actual footage of shot with this at 50 yards and then at 100, guys. And at 50 yards with the magazine is incredible. Out of the box, FX pellets or I should say JSB 1589 grain pellet through the barrel using the magazine five shots even with a little bit of a flyer is incredible at 50 yards okay here goes 50 yards five shots winds blowing decently hard running my Coldwell tack driver bags on the bench 50 yards That's a really nice cluster down there, 50 yards out of the box. Never shot it at 50 yards before. Man, that is awesome. Magazine. Woohoo! Well, everybody, that right there, to me, um, that right there out of the box at 50 yards is was insane. Um, with the magazine, uh, you know, to me, that was that was awesome. Uh, only pellet I've ever shot through it 
and I took it out to 100 and you're not going to believe what it did next. Now with the magazine uh, and the 14 mile an hour wind I shot a group with a cider and then five to follow and of course always there's a flyer but then I shot again with the single shot tray and wanted to see if there's a noticeable difference and you guys will see it it is crazily insane what this crawl can do at 100 yards uh, with or without the magazine using the single shot tray okay first attempt 100 yards with this gun see how it goes I only know where I'm shooting at. I might have to take a cider shot here and see where it's hitting. Whoa, that was right on the paper. That's crazy, that close. flying pretty straight well guys that was awesome 100 yards with this gun Woo -hoo. 15 8 9 grain pellet Well, of course, that was using my bags. You know, I'm not used to using this bog pod yet. I decided to get one and try it out because, to me, this would be perfect out in the woods. If I find a spot where I know we're, you know, hunting purposes, where I know the game will be, and I could just sit there and snipe them out and get them that way. But, you know, for accuracy purposes and precision, I used my bags with this to see how well it shot. And initially, I forgot to mention that the bottom of this came with the Picatinny rail. I took it off due to the bog pod, the way it sits. It's not flush because it doesn't go all the way down the, the stock here. And not to mention, but the stock is so easy to take off. There's only one screw in this trigger guard and the whole thing comes off. And that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Um, over my new air gun again a lot of you have been asking what my next one would be and I've been eyeballing this for a while and it went on sale and I decided to literally pull the trigger on it and get it I'm not disappointed with how it shoots but I am disappointed on how they didn't give you everything you needed to fill it you know especially your probe in my opinion the threaded probe does no good um, 
with quick disconnect fittings. You have to buy the actual fitting itself to add on to the probe. But other than that, guys, I can't I can't complain about it. Um, but I do I will say this: for as much as this cost and the budget guns that I have bought in the past, they have came with sound suppression at the muzzle, and I don't understand why the higher end guns it seems don't come with stuff like that or unless you specifically buy a model that has it but again the guns that I bought previously like the Diana Storm Rider and the Umarex Gauntlet they came with baffling in a shroud this is only shrouded so it's just a little things that I have to get by with um, but again I am very happy with the gun overall besides the little things like I said they're not going to really bug me because this thing is a tack driver especially with the pellets that I've only shot through it that's the only ones and uh, you know again took some measurements and figured that out before even shooting the rifle so as always guys I appreciate you watching and I hope you get something from this video and uh, this is the new air gun everybody's been asking about if I got one so this is it as always thanks for watching and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe again if you haven't already we'll see you on the next one everybody